Have your nipples ever chafed? No, but um, I've had stuff ooze out of them. What? In puberty. Didn't you ever have little hard nodules in your nipple and no. if you squeezed it, some clear liquid would come out the nipple? And then I'd let the cat lick my nipple. And then my cat got really big. I think it's a high protein diet for cats to have nipple ooze. And if you believe any of what I just told you, you're as dumb as Corbin. Well, I do let cats lick my nipples, though. <laughs> that was the grossest intro. Ah. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions. This is Corbin. I don't do that with Introduce cats. Introduce yourself. I'm Rick, and I don't do that with cats. Just lesbian mice. How do you know if they're lesbian? They tell you. Oh, okay. Yeah. <gasps> Today we got a classic song from the film Awara. How would you pronounce that? Awara. Awara? Yeah, that's, there's no Corbinization there. Uh, and I think the song's called Awara Hoon with Raj Kapoor. Remember Mai Hoon? Mai Hoon. Mai Hoon, yeah. Mai Hoon. Hoon. That was one of the first ballads we really enjoyed. Mai Hoon. Uh, Raj, Kapoor. Raj Kapoor, Mukesh, Shankar Jakashan. Ultimate Raj Kapoor song. And this is a classic from 1951, Rick. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How is this possible? How is this possible? 39 million views, 300,000 likes, and not a single dislike? <laughs> yep. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. Or YouTube just took away dislikes. That's probably you knew that, right? Yes, I okay. did. <laughs> Actually, they didn't. They just publicly, you cannot see it anymore. I Like, if you dislike our videos, I can go and see how many dislikes there are. I don't. But you can, if you wanted to. Yeah. I don't know. I don't actually know why they did that, but... Because they want it to be a kinder, gentler world. I guess. And they figure that as long as you don't see the dislikes, you won't know that you're disliked. <laughs> I guess. Oh, 
really catchy. That's really catchy. Super catchy. And fun. You know what else I loved? When he was in the car with the girls and they were telling him to get out, I loved the fake screen behind them that had the projected sky because it made no sense with physics as far as what the car was doing. Mm -hmm. It was just like kind of all over the place. It was fantastic. Um, I think... I want to say we've seen another song. May oh, is it this the one that has him walking with the stick? Yeah, and the the he's like doing the typical. He looks like he could be a little rascal as he's walking yeah, down the street. Yeah, because the look of him is very iconic. Yes. Uh, but I, I didn't know if that one was Street Four Twenty or well, if you remember the title, that's impressive. Uh, or if that's this one. But I I think because this also is Nargis in it uh, from Mother India, uh, and I think it I think she was teaching. And he was singing a song. Yeah, to yeah, it. yeah. Remember that one? I thought I think that's a third separate one. Or oh, is, is that it? the one with him walking with the bag? I don't know. Because I think we've seen at yeah. least three with that look. Yeah. Uh, it's, I know it's an iconic look. It's yes. Like, it's like it's like Chaplin's Little Tramp. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, the the suit with the shirt and the, yep. the, the, the floppy the, hat. The, the, before Michael Jackson did it, you see his, he's got the floods working. Yeah. yeah. Uh, looks really interesting though. This is one that a lot of people. Uh, have oh, rec recommended for classic I'd be, months. Absolutely, I'd be very uh, excited. 1951 would might be the earliest one we would sure have would. seen. That's, that's early. I don't think we've seen any that close to the 40s. <laughs> yeah, very, and oh, also we get uh, another Nargis, which I want to see more of. We kind of can't get out of classic month without seeing at least something of Raj Kapoor since yeah, we've yeah. yet to see him. Yeah, uh, since we haven't seen him and he's a he's an icon of early of Bollywood. classics, yeah. Of like probably the beginning of Bollywood. Yeah, it's right? kinda it would kinda like be it, in Hollywood, it would be like saying, I you know, I've seen some classics, but I, I have yet to see a Chaplin film. Yeah, but I think it might be after Chaplin because Oh, he definitely is. No, I'm saying but like uh who were the stars right after Chaplin? Was it Humphrey? Yes. Well, you had the day of the days of Chaplin and Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy that transitioned from the silent era to the speaking era. That ushered in Humphrey Bogart, James Cagney, yeah. all of the what are the iconic original Hollywood legends. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, uh, in fact, fifty one. That's really close to Casablanca. Yeah, I think Casablanca came out around then, maybe even after. It's right in that ballpark, and the Maltese Falcon. Am I spelling it wrong? Yeah, why is that not popping up instantly? Casablan? Did you put two S's? Uh, it's one S. Oh, it's one S. Yeah. Oh, here we go. 42, okay. No, wow, there's... way preceded that. I was <clears throat> off. Wow. So it was ten, almost 10 years prior uh, to that film. Shows you, if you haven't seen Casablanca, you just it's one of my wife's favorite films. It's, uh, I mean, it's one of my favorite, but if you've seen it, you, you like the film. It's a great film. It's just a great uh, film. One of the greatest Hollywood films ever, I think. Yeah, I agree. Um, but, like, if you're like, I haven't seen a lot of uh, original Hollywood classics, and it's also, you like kind of romance, uh, and it's, it's not a typical romance either. There's a big, there's like a big debate about, I'm not going to give it away. If you haven't watched it. Exactly. <laughs> and it's got some of the most legendary names in all of film in there. It's got Ingrid Bergman. It's yeah. got Humphrey Bogart. It's got Peter Lorre. Um, and <laughs> you'll appreciate Looney Tunes more <laughs> if you see it because Peter Lorre is re repeatedly... And there's, there's, there is music in this that is arguably the most iconic musical refrain in all of American cinema. Mm. As well as some of the most important lines and most quoted ever in American mm. cinema. So please do. The beginning of a beautiful friendship. Go see Casablanca if you've not seen also, it. Also, you think most old films are long. This is like just over an hour and a half. Yeah, it's barely 90 minutes which long. Which is crazy. Yeah. Because older films are usually ridiculously long. Yeah, and it'll give you an appreciation for, like, I don't know how well you guys would be familiar with Humphrey Bogart, but it gives you an appreciation. For him, because there's a stereotype about him that's and his right, alcoholism. But, yeah, <laughs> but he actually—I don't want to give anything away. You should just watch it, and then after that, go watch some Clark Gable. But also, 
let us know about this film if this is one of uh, Raj Kapoor's that we should start with. Like, yeah. What uh, for Classic Month? I would like to get to a Raj Kapoor film. Yeah, absolutely one. one. Um, so should it, should we start with this one? Uh, it looks like I, I looked it up in um, reactions to the song just to see if we could find ours, and then I saw Jimmy review it. I don't know what he gave it, but mm. it looks like Jimmy and uh, uh, Jimmy Cage and uh, if you don't Jimmy, watch him. The Buddy Meister. I don't know what they gave it, but um, maybe they gave it because they they always do the ratings. Yeah, and Jimmy's, they're just lovers of yeah, film, they're and they're always film pretty lovers. spot on. Uh, but anyways, should this be our first Raj Kapoor film? If, if not, what should be? And also other songs we can react to down below. Juice!